Hi friends, today we're going over the volume of a rectangular prism. First things first, volume is just the amount of space inside a 3D figure, aka how much something can hold and measured in cubic units like meters cubed or inches cubed. The formula for rectangular prism is just going to be length times width times height. So let's go into the first equation. Brooke is setting up a rectangular aquarium for a tropical fish. The tank has a length of 80 centimeters, a width of 40 centimeters, and a height of 60 centimeters. If she needs to fill the aquarium with water, what is the volume of the water required to completely fill the tank? So first I'm gonna look at the length, width, and height, and I'm gonna highlight those measurements. So I have 80 centimeters, 40 centimeters, and 60 centimeters. So here's my length, my width, and my height. Now, I'm just gonna follow the formula. So I'm gonna multiply the length times the width times the height going 80 times 40 times 60, which is going to give me 192,000 centimeters cubed. Let's go into a different, more complex question. So a shipping container is designed to hold cubic boxes with sides measuring 1.5 feet. If the container is 10 feet long, eight feet wide and six feet high, how many of these smaller boxes can fit into the shipping container? So I'm gonna highlight my important pieces. So let's break this down into the two different pieces, the two formulas. And I need to find the volume formula for both. So let's focus on the shipping container. I have 10 feet for my length, eight feet for my width, and six feet for my height. I'm gonna multiply those together, 10 times eight times six, and get 480 feet cubed. Now let's go to the little box that's going to fit inside them. Now it gives me 1.5 feet, but because all of the sides are the same, I'm gonna follow the same formula, which is basically 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5. This is going to give me a volume of 3.375 feet cubed. But we're not quite done yet. So I need to take my complete volume for my shipping container and then divide that by the cubic boxes that are gonna be fitting inside them, which is 3.375. When you divide those numbers, you're gonna get 142 boxes. That means 142 smaller boxes can fit into the shipping container. So that's the volume. All right, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.